finally getting back to another video. It took me a while, um, and I apologize. One of the things that I've noticed while I've been testing things like the lead screw is there seems to be a good amount of oil coming off the top. And when I reattach the top after changing the fluid, is I saw no gasket. And it looked like there wasn't one before. But at this point, I'm going to add one. And so that'll be most of what this video is. Um, and my goal was actually to use some RTV silicone. But when I went to try and get anything out of the tube, before I started shooting the video, I noticed there was uh, nothing liquid left. So it's not the end of the world. I do have some silicone that I will use instead. So if you were to change the fluid in one of these, um, you would go through pretty much the same procedure. If you're just adding fluid, there is this screw up there that opens up a fill plug. So there's four quick screws, or bolts I should say, cap screws, I guess we're halfway between a screw and a bolt. So I have the four out. to lift the quite heavy top. I'm going to clean my hands and then I'll take you in for a closer look. So you can see the various gears um, and it looks like there hasn't ever been a seal on there. And I think the reason it's been leaking here is this passageway that's in there. And so my objection, or objective, is going to be to keep the silicone on this side here. Again, I would have preferred to use RTV, but I don't have any at this point. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean off this top to get as good of a mating surface as I can. scraper, just a standard blade scraper, and so I can see it looks like there has been a sealant of some type on here once before. Now what's interesting is that the sealant was very much on the inside, not on the outside. So. I feel like I've been slacking on the videos. I haven't shot one in about a week. Um, my goal was to try and get some machining done on Thursday night at shop night, but um, Neil finally got his car running, which is that radical there's another video of, and so I didn't want to take away from him doing that. There is a little hole over here. It looks like there's quite a bit of gunk in this passage, so I'm going to attempt to clean it out. Looks like there is some sort of a... I'm not sure exactly what this is, but I'm not sure if somebody sealed off the housing. It looks like there's only one way in now. So we'll scrape a bit more and see what we find. Ah, JB Weld. I know that stuff quite well. So up next, 
There's El Cheapo brake cleaner. I'm going to spray the rag because I don't really want to change the oil in the transmission. Again, um, the oil that's in there now is probably about a week and a half old. So I'm trying not to waste that. Wasn't uh, well, an epically cheap. Now what we're going to do is flip around. And look at the lid. So I placed it there because it's a good spot that it won't fall off. And admittedly, my shop is a bit of a disaster, so it should be cleaner than it is. One thing about the paint is whoever redid it didn't do a great job. It seems to be on everything. It doesn't really stick to anything. And so here you can see there's a divide line between what looks like um, the transmission cover, and then this is just the rest of the um, transmission. Now we're going to shoot back over to the top of the lathe. We are going to apply all purpose so they can see that. Um, this is actually just what I have. I don't know if it's the best product for the job, but uh, my dad's a big believer in silicone. and I think he would buy the patent if he had the choice. So we'll give it a try and see what happens. thing about brake cleaner is there'll be no residue. But we'll just wipe off one more time just in case. Confirm. Okay. And so this will take about 30 minutes to tack up. So we are going to apply this coat now. Thirty minutes to tack up. We will wait about fifteen minutes. We're going to just go on the outside here. Good, we will put a little more in a couple spots. This isn't going to be a caulk quality job, thankfully. No one's going to see it. And so I'm going to let that set up a bit before we try to put the lid on. So I will bring you back in five to ten minutes. Okay, we've waited our ten minutes. Moment of truth. And so my goal here is to try and put this down only once. Any movement could smear the uh, silicone. So my goal is to get it perfect the first. Didn't get it perfect, but I got it in an acceptable spot. So now what we're gonna do, you can see some of it leaked out in the front here. 
Gonna run some screws in. Proving that I don't edit my videos. I'm sure everyone's thinking what kind of fool drops their tools. And so I'll probably get some comments that say you shouldn't do this or you should put a gasket or I've read some interesting gasketing material comments lately. Um, I'm going to ignore those because I'm not a big fan of the oil leaking out. I've checked the level and the slight glass level spot on. Um, and so then I got to the point where I needed to do something. It didn't feel like a wearing hydraulic fluid and be uh, having a constant problem. So. Since I don't have a manual, it's a bit hard to say what the correct torque sequence is or how many foot-pounds there are, but since to me this is a cosmetic cover, um, I'm going to be fairly gentle on it, um, more aggressive on the front than on the back because if you remember from the beginning the back has tapped JB Weld from where the casting broke and so that's it um, the instructions on the silicone say not to use it for 24 hours I will the only reason I'm cleaning this up here is to try and make even more of a seal by pushing it up against the edge Otherwise, I probably would have left it. And that is really it for today's installment. The have a new, have a new rack actually sitting upstairs. Um, need to weld some pieces to it, which will get me all sorts of flack. Um, and a new pinion to turn down, and that will come out soon. So one last thing. Uh, before I ask everyone to subscribe and like the video is I took these wipers off uh, the other day so I put the traits back on um, let me see if I can pull out so you can see there's kind of a better idea I took the tray put it back on the other day and cleaned the living daylights out of it with every fluid I could find and what I found is that the these wipers over here had tons of crap underneath them. Actually, when the blade was painted, I guess some of the ways got painted, and because of that, there was a good coat of paint. So I left those in acetone for about 30 to 40 minutes, which cleaned up the felt really well, and let them dry out, put them back on, and they're in great shape. So if you're interested or have any feedback, I'd appreciate good feedback. Um, Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. And yeah, I'm hoping Thursday night I might try one evening this week to go and weld the rack up. And I'll take some video of that if I do. So thanks and have a good week.